in today's video, I will show you how to use Super Sauce on the A10 Mini Extreme and how to use macros to make your Super Sauce even more super. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph. I run a production house here in Singapore doing photography, videography, live streams and basically everything tech. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so a brief introduction to what is a Super Sauce. First of all, I would like to let you know that the Super Sauce function is only available on the A10 Mini Extreme models and the higher end models like the Constellations. So the A10 Mini Pro or ISO does not have this function. Okay, so basically what is a Super Sauce? Instead of describing it in words which will sound confusing, this is an example of a Super Sauce. So now you get it. So basically Super Sauce on the A10 Mini Extreme allows you to display multiple sources at the same time on screen. Hence the name Super Sauce. Now you may ask, why do you need a Super Sauce effect for your live streams? Okay, in my experience, a lot of live streams that I've done in the past, be it either weddings or corporate, do actually need a Super Sauce. Okay, not so much that you need a Super Sauce, but it's more like it will make your live streams look better and more professional. For example, when the pastor is giving his sermon during church mass, you can actually display the PowerPoint slides on the side to actually show what he's talking about. So on one side, you can show that he's addressing the people attending the church and on the other side is actually the PowerPoint slides showing what he's talking about. Or for corporate live streams, you can have this super source layout with the host talking on the left and two guest speakers on the right or simply have four guest speakers appear on screen at the same time during your live stream. So many possibilities to play around with because the positions and the sizes of these super sauce, these sauce boxes can be customized. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First of all, boot up your A10 Mini Extreme and connect it to your computer or laptop. Then, open up your A10 software control panel. Go to your switcher tab and click on Palettes. Then, click on Super Source. Okay, before we go into the presets, first click on Art because I'll explain what Art is. This Art tab lets you select the fill source, which is the so-called background image to put your sources on top of it. So for fill source, we will select Media Player 1. This is where the A10 Mini will display the background image from your media pool. You can also actually select other sources, but because most of the time we use a static image, a JPEG image as the background, so we can select Media Player 1. But if you want to use a looping, moving background like this, you can actually play the looping video on a laptop and then connect it to one of your HDMI ports on your A10 Mini Extreme. Okay, for example, we'll just stick back to the static JPEG image placed in our Media Player 1. So you see there's an option of placing the image as a foreground here, right? So what it means is simply like this. For background, you have the image as the background and then you lay your sources on top of it. If you select foreground, your sources will be below and you overlay the super source image on top of your sources as a foreground. But do take note that if you want to use your super source image as a foreground, that image has to be a PNG image with transparent holes like this. So that when you overlay it onto the sources, you can actually see what's underneath the image. Hope that is not too difficult to understand. Okay, moving forward, okay, moving ahead. Now that we have selected the easier JPEG image as our background, go to your media pool and look for your image. Here I have an image prepared and I will drag and drop it onto an empty slot 6 and then put it in the media player 1. Now go back to your switcher tab and click on presets. Under layout, you can see that there are four options, probably four of the most popular layouts that Blackmagic Design has decided on. 
Well, I agree that layout 1 and 4 are pretty popular, but layout 2 and 3... Anyway, you can select the layout which suits your live stream best, but what if you don't have the layout that you wanted? Like the one that I mentioned previously. So now I will teach you how to customize the sources or boxes as they call it to the layout that you want. Okay, one very important thing to note. Once you have finished customizing your layout, that means you have uh, resized them or moved them in their positions, do not, do not click on any of the four layouts because they will overwrite your previously customized settings and you have to do it all over again. Well, I learned it the hard way, so please don't make the same mistake as I did. Well, it would be good if the A10 Mini had the option to save your customized super source layout, right? Well, I know you can customize and save templates in Mix Effect, but today we are not talking about other programs or apps, but just purely the native functions of the A10 Mini. We'll skip that for another video tutorial for another day. So now back to the customization part, okay? So we will use the example of the pasta and the PowerPoint slides, remember? Since we are only going to have two boxes, we will select the layout closest to that, which is this layout. So the box 1 refers to the box on the left, and box 2 refers to the one on the right. Under box 1 settings, you can select the source where you want it to come from. For me, usually I set it to camera 1, which is the camera facing the speaker or the main person. Then for box 2, I will select the source, which is connected to my laptop, which is usually displaying graphics, PowerPoint slides, or anything that is videos coming from your laptop. So for myself, I personally use Cam4, and it's just my personal <laughs> preference. So now you can see it looking like something like this for your output. So from the look of this, we need to shift box 1 to the left and crop it a little bit, right? And then box 2 to the right and probably enlarge it. So under box 1, camera 1 settings, you can key in these settings as a reference. For position X, I put in minus 10.5 and Y as 0. And for size, we will change it to 0 0.65. And then check on the crop button here. We will crop the left by 8 and the right by 8 as well. Then select box 2 and for X position, we will change it to 5.32 and Y to 0. For the size, we will change it to 0 0.65. So now the super source looks exactly the way I wanted it to be. And now you have learned how to reposition the X and Y axis of the sources as well as cropping it you can actually slowly trial and error to move the boxes around to see which layout suits your live stream best. Okay, so here's a personal tip. For me, I usually set up these uh, personalized or customized settings one or two days before, and then I write down these settings on a notepad or a digital notepad, for example, or something. Because once you switch off the ATEM, the settings are actually reset to the default ones. But don't worry, once you reach the venue, you can actually change these settings to the ones that you want by referring to the save notes that you have earlier and you have saved them in your notepad. All right, so now you have learned how to use super source. Well done, give yourself a pat on the back. So to enable the super source setting, you have to click on the SSRC button on the ATEM software control panel and then click cut and or auto, right? Or on the console itself, you have to press the SSRC button and then switch from preview to live view. Now I'm going to show you an easier way to trigger the super source effect by using macros. So we now assume that all the hard work is already done. The selecting of sources, the repositioning of the X and Y axis, and the cropping of the boxes. Now we can make all this happen with just one touch of a button. How do we do it? Go to your ATEM software control panel and select macros. Take note that these six buttons here actually refer exactly to the six buttons on your ATEM mini extreme console under the macros part. So click on the plus button here and we will name it super source. Press record. Click on the SSRC button here and then click Auto. Then 
click on the record button again to stop recording. Now back on your A10 mini console, button one here, which is the macros that you have just created, labeled as super source, will be triggered. So now pressing macro button one, just pressing one button, triggers the super source effect. So there you have it. How to use the super source on the A10 mini extreme and how to enable a simple macros button to make it even more super. For myself, I use this macros topper quite often for my live streams such that it has become sort of a norm for me because every time I go into a live stream I know macro button one is the super source and anytime I want to switch to a super source effect I just need to press macro button one okay I hope today's video was useful and that you have learned something to make your live streams look more professional for those who already know how to use super source and macros and you have ready you know how this thing works thank you all for watching uh, until the end of the video i hope this was a good refresher for you so people who have watched this video what do you think of this super source plus macros combi or do you know of any other similar combinations to make your live streams easier and more fresh professional looking let me know in the comments below, I would love to learn from you as well. So, until the next video, I'm Steph. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care and bye-bye.